In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create and manage your online forms. To do this, you will need to click on My Applications and click on the Manage Forms section of your account. Once you're on this page, you will notice at the top you have three options. You have your adoption forms, your foster forms, and your general forms. Your adoption forms are going to be linked to the Pets Adoption button on the Pets Public Profile page found here. And the foster forms are always going to be linked to this foster button. You can assign these forms when adding a pet to the system at the very bottom of the Add Pet page. Your adoption forms and foster forms are linked to specific pets and when someone fills out one of these online forms they will automatically appear in the application section of your dashboard. Your general forms are going to be something more like an adoption contract or a volunteer application, and those are not linked to pets, but rather actual contacts associated with your organization. To create a new form, you can click the Create New Application Form button in the upper right-hand side of the page. You enter in the name of the form, and then you select the type of form you want created. For the purposes of this demo, we're just going to go ahead and create a new adoption form. And we also give you the option to copy over all the questions and answer choices from a previous application you created. Uh, the reason we do this is sometimes you may have similar applications. For example, you may have an adult dog application, a pit bull application. And to help accommodate different organizations, we just made it easy for them to copy over applications and then edit them afterwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new application. Once you're here, uh, You'll notice this basic information section at the top. This is something we require in every single form that gets filled out. Uh, to add a new section to your application, you can just click Add New Section, enter in the section title, and then from there, you can add questions to those sections. So to do that, you just click Add a Question. You enter in the title of the question, click Required, if you want this to be a mandatory question. And then from there, we have four different types of answer choices. So you have your check boxes, which is check all that apply. You have your text box answer type, which is just fill in the blank. And then you have your multiple choice, which is select one out of all of these. And then you have your basic yes, no questions. Uh, once you set up all your questions and answers, uh, you can keep adding more questions as you would like. You can add new sections. Once you have all of it in there, you can reorder it however you want. You can move this section to the top, move it back down. Uh, very uh, easy to do, very straightforward. If you ever have any questions, please contact support. We're more than happy to help anytime. Uh, but once it's all done, uh, you just click Save Application. And now this new application form will be added to your Manage Form section. Uh, since this was an adoption form, you're going to see it show up in your Adoption tab. And once a form is added, you're going to notice a couple things. So, one, you have uh, this little link here, which is assign this application to more pets. So what this allows you to do is assign all of these pets to this form. So when someone visits these pets public profile pages that I showed you earlier, and they click that adopt button, they're going to be brought to this specific form as long as the pet is assigned to this form. To assign the pet to the form, you can actually filter through the type of pets you want on the form. So let's say you want this for all dogs. You can filter by dogs. Once you do that, you just check off this little checkbox up here, which will check off everything. Go to Actions, click Assign Pets, and it's done. So now all those pets will now be assigned to that application. And just to show you what it looks like, you can now see there's 63 pets assigned to it. They're all dogs, and it can be edited for each dog uh, in the pet section under editing the pet at the very bottom. Down here, you will notice a little question mark that explains what this field is. Uh, if you enter in emails into this field, anytime someone fills out this form, who, whatever email you enter into this field is going to receive a PDF of the filled out application and they will be able to review it. So the purpose of doing this, you may have some staff members who are responsible for reviewing all dog applications that you get. Uh, 
if you enter in their email here, anytime someone submits one online, they're going to get an email with a PDF of that form. They can start reviewing it immediately. A little bit lower, you'll notice we have a share this application link. And what this allows you to do is post a direct link to the form on your own website. Uh, just to show you what it looks like. This is uh, what it will look like. So basically, uh, it's just the online form that we just created. And as you can see, since this is an adoption application, they are able to select up to three different pets that they're interested in adopting. A little bit lower, we have embed code if you want to embed the form in your website. Uh, for websites that are not responsive, we recommend that you paste this link instead of the actual form because sometimes on iPhones, uh, if your website is not responsive and you're using an iframe, uh, it may cause issues with the iframe form. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're setting this up. Over here we have a send PDF button. Uh, this is in case you want to print out a blank PDF of the application uh, to hand out to potential adopters in person if they want to fill it out by hand. This concludes the tutorial for how to set up your online forms. For more information on how to manage submitted applications, please see the Applications Management Tutorial.